Hey there, either Holder Fire Familia, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. And this we're reacting to The Owl House Season 2, Episode 14. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Reaching Out. So the episode's name it, it, title is Reaching Out. The only things I can think of possibly is Luz reaching out to her mom. Because I don't think, I don't think, I don't think her mom can reach out to her. Or it's going to be Hunter reaching out to them. There's only two I can think of right now. We know Kiki's not. <laughs> oh, that's how you're charging your phone? Wait, you're using little, like, lightning bugs? Oh, that's smart. And I love how she's got, of course, the Grom photo on her nightstand and a photo of her and her mom. And of course, King is sleeping next to her. Oh, okay, wait, so she's thinking of mom. And wait, what's, what's all around you, actually? Okay, well, we already, you got the Guardian still there. Why is that kind of that, why does this, you got two and a half hearts, I think it's for video games. Why does that kind of look like? It kind of reminds me of, um, Hootie's skull head, but it also reminds me of, um, Death, or not Death, the creature from Liam Vickers' animation, Cliffside. Kind of reminds me of that bird creature. So she's got a bunch of, um, runes or glyphs around her that she's been practicing. It's missing mom. So it's gonna be her reaching out to mom, I'm guessing. Feeling okay, Luce? Brent saw on King's head. Wait, what is this? What is he up to? Titan. The book. Why? You know, I love how, like, in every, like, not every series, but, like, in a lot of series, you always have the protagonist ends up, like, kind of going crazy with theories or, like, a board or whatever. You got loose with hers. You got, um, okay, there's not that many that do it, but you got, off the top of my head, you got loose with hers. You got Uzi from Murder Drones with hers. You got Hasman Hotel. You got Charlie with hers. Um, I think that's all the ones I can think of right now. Yeah, but for some reason, like, the latest ones I've watched have had their protagonists doing that. The main protagonist doing that. Successfully build a portal to the human realm. Learn that stays up permanently. Figure out what Bellos is planning and show him what for. That's a lot of, like, major stuff you're trying to tackle at once, Luce. The safety hover. Antigraph? Ooh, did you steal my pentagram? I borrowed it because I've got a castle inside borrowed. and info on Bellos. Willow gave me Hunter's contact. <laughs> oh. Is, are you good now? Is Bello evil? You can tell him. You know what this? Oh my god. Hunter's username is Ruler's Reach Fan. Why do I? Okay, but anyway. Why do I feel like the way that Luce is interacting with Hunter, asking questions and stuff, kind of reminds me of people that friend like cr the show creators or like the voice actors on like a social media platform and then they send him questions. Like if they actually friend back, they ask questions like, What's going to happen in this episode? Is this going to die? Like, let's say, for example, if, uh, like, I friended Luce's VA and she uh, friended me back. It's just like, is Luce going to die? Um, d does anything happen with Luce and Amy? Like, it's just, like, questions that they're not going to be able to answer or not going to. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's Luce. Oh, Hunter's going to be like, leave me alone. Aw. And then he sends one of Rascal. Sorry, wrong person. Who are you sending Rascal photos to? Every year, me and mom have this little ritual we do. It's nothing. Is Ida gonna try and take, not take her place, but is Ida gonna try and do like what Luz did with her mom? I could go for a griffin egg. Well, let us know if griffin you need egg. anything, okay? We'll meet you guys in the kitchen. Wonder what that would taste like, griffin egg. Luz, I have a problem and it hey, could distract us all day. Perfect. Dad, look, it's the Bonesboro Brawl tonight. And since I'm Wrestling? finally old enough to participate, I, I was thinking, uh, Dad. Uh, mittens. Didn't oh, also we're seeing Amity's dad more. Are we gonna? Are we gonna have a? God, I forgot his name. Are we? Are we gonna have a um, Amity dad focused episode? Also, oh, I just noticed that Darius signed that copy of that Abomination book that he has. See you there. Clear. Was it Avalon? Somebody's gotta say his name, right? Really? Maybe win the champion belt like you did. Oh, like he did. I goofed off a lot back then, but you not have anymore. A future and shouldn't waste it on that nonsense. Wait, when you say goof off, in what way? Like, 
Is it something, It was you making abominations part of goofing off, or was it you went to abominations after goofing off because somebody told you to stop fooling around? And this thing is so embarrassing, I even tried disguising it. Yeah, I actually <laughs> think Ida has the same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you put him in, like, Stan's uh, shack museum, I'm sure it would blend in. It would have been nice to share something Oh, look at him. him. Oh, wait, look, you could see, uh, oh my god. I'm forgetting her parents' name because we haven't seen him for a bit. Um, but look at, look at Amity's mom. Even there, she looks like she's ready to cause, like, pro Wait, no! You can see Rain and freaking Ida on the skull in the background. And she's flicking the popcorn at him. I think it's popcorn. Who knows? It's, it's, it's the boiling aisles. It's probably not popcorn. But I love how they're, they're, uh. Fooling off, go uh, goofing off in the background. <laughs> well, hey, I'm here to help. Oh, you the supportive the head head, head leaning. What? Come on, you should know I always go for the chaotic route. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> Seth, smile and blush. No, wait. <laughs> That's such a. Well, yes, you do. <laughs> don't want to join a coven anymore. Did somebody say boo? I would definitely rather tell her dad than her mom. Brawl. Of course, you'd be. Oh yeah, that's because of the photo. Great in duels. Plus, if you go, you can get that ugly thing out of my house. Hmm. Out of everything you have, yeah, I would feel like you wouldn't. We wouldn't care that about the abomination. Not until I win that belt. Don't worry, I got you, boo. I got you, boo. That's <laughs> so cute. Hey, oh hey, Edenem. <laughs> okay, come on now. We we'll get upset at Jesus. them. They're, they redeemed themselves. They're not bad siblings. Just mischievous. But what siblings aren't? Like I need one of those. Oh wait, isn't that the bat from season one when they went up in the mountains and he wanted to eat the bat and then he's like, if we're gonna keep it, then I want it as a pet. So he actually kept the bat. Hey, don't play games, Ed. I saw you take Wait, one. I wondered did that become his palisman? No, did it? Just found it. Oh. Uh -huh. Here's mine too for a little extra. Wait, 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 wait. What is it that she grabbed from? Concealment stone. Like I need one of those. Hey. Concealment stone. So wait, that's this is actually not what he looks like. This is just a disguise. <laughs> that's what you look like, Ed. Oh my God, you look more like your dad. You look so much like your dad. <laughs> he looks like a complete geek nerd. Oh, what do you look like? Oh. Of course her, she's like still almost perfect. She just has some ac like acne, that's it. In her ear. <gasps> and you look, you, why is it Ed looks more like dad, your dad? M looks still pretty much the same. You look more like your mom. <laughs> you look like a librarian. Not bad. Ooh, so pretty. Aw, <laughs> all of them. Oh, him. Maybe we can find out what Bellows is planning. And why Rain Are they really gonna tick off everything on freaking Luce's list unintentionally like without meaning to? Was acting weird at the parade. Or not without meaning to, without trying to. So you finally need something from me, don't you, owl lady? Go on a date with me first. <laughs> and imprisoning my student slash child, I think you Student slash child? No, Ida. You owe me. Oh. Sorry, our lady, no fighting outside the ring. You guys are security. Okay. And demons, wow, really? The hunt, uh, demon hunters are the ones being the security and announcers. First round, this should not be hard for Amity. The mittens. mittens. Of course, uh, she goes with that name. And think about things. Let my mind wander. Start panicking and thinking of. What, dwelling on certain thoughts. Hey, Luz. Uh -oh. Ooh, what's that? I also love how we've come to a point with like Ed and M in the group where they're like all looking like normal teenagers. So like Ed and M, like you know, you you see how with Amity, Ed and M, and their mom, like she's so controlling and wants them to look a certain way and look perfect almost. That like right, he, like here they're actually looking and acting like being allowed to look and act like teenagers. Uh, so it's like kind of cool. To see that progression. So I'm also gonna sign up for the Bonesboro Brawl. 
Did you just say that out of panic? Like, you... I mean, may, but doesn't that mean her and Amni are gonna fight? Also, bye. If I'm taking out contestants too, you have less people to worry about. Not but then you both are gonna have to fight. Is everything okay? No. Ada told me, just don't get hurt, okay? Don't get hurt. Oh, the concern. So cute. Maybe you can just cheer from the sidelines? Yeah, okay. Go get him, Mittens! Is he gonna feel... Man, I can't get anything right. Hmm? That's suspiciously placed. <laughs> totally not a trap, but who for? Hey, Are you really gonna touch it? Scram! You'll scare away the skin badgers. We need their dandruff. Skin badgers. Oh, they're strong, so you'll need a fortified rope. Knowledgeable. A little. It's just a hobby, though. Probably just a hobby. He's just like dad. Oh my god, he's just like him. Probably not any good. Hey, my brother. Edric. Nah, too close to Ida. Here's a <laughs> Ed, too close to Ida. Wait, I just realized, you know, instead of calling him Ed, because it's too close to Ida, and instead of calling him Blight Brother, why not call him just BB? <laughs> that means he could be BB and then M can be BS. <laughs> I think I could help? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I could be useful. I didn't even have to offer to pay. Wait, what? Let's get started. Oh, you just missed your opportunity. What's her stage name? What is her name? What is her name? The Cell Razor. The cell razor? <laughs> and of course, Amity's blushing. <laughs> My girlfriend's so cool. <laughs> I love how they both like. Uh, Lewis blushes over Amity and is like, my girlfriend's so cool, and then you have Amity feeling the same way. Oh, turns into a rocket. It's like what Luce did to Hunter. Aw, you're cute. Oh. oh, you're a skin badger. I'm sorry, you know, like, because a few of you have commented on how, like, you've seen, like, references to the fact that Amity is voiced by uh, Mae Whitman, who voiced Katara from Avatar Last Airbender. Um, and like how her, the thing that she had the abomination stuff in, in the episode with her, Hunter, and Ida, and King in the caverns, the Titan veins, was like the water uh, uh, container that she had, uh, Katara had. And it's like the more I'm like watching Amity, the more, yeah, it's like she's literally like, the abomination stuff is like water bending. <laughs> Fairy spit. Okay, you know what? Maybe if that's what fairies look like, maybe I don't feel so bad anymore with the ones that got turned into a cupcake by a, or a pie by a Amity. You just lead her off the arena. Dang, the fire needs to be hotter. Keep stirring while I find more fuel. Ma'am, does he spill it? It's just nice to be taken seriously for once. Yeah. King knows what that feels like. Yeah. Are King and him gonna hit it off and be like close friends? Sit quietly with my thoughts. I just need a healthy distraction. Healthy distraction. I'm gonna take a walk. Maybe you should turn off that event reminder. Hey, wait! Even what if dad's behind? Ah. Hey, yeah. uh, now it's gonna consider you a threat. Oh, it sounds like her phone alarm. You didn't touch it, right? Dad filled this thing with alarms. Uh, of course. Totally didn't touch it. Totally did just knock the alarm out of its head. It's not. Come on, Amity. Cause wait, if it gets damaged, I wonder if it sends an alarm to. Uh, pretty sure it was Avalon. I'm. I don't, I'm not gonna stick with Avalon though. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure her uh, Amity's dad has gotten notification. Lose the champion's belt. So he does have eyes. Cause when we, we all the times we've seen him, we always see him like from like the mostly the like side, and like from like down like more down, so you don't see the two little eyes he has. So he does have eyeballs. So I was wondering, how does he see? He's actually cool design though. I like him. Uh -oh. Is this? No. This child. Forfeits the match. Ah, oh, come on, Dad. But someone set off your abomaton's alarm. 
Don't look at me. <laughs> Lewis is sleeping. Did you lie to me earlier? Oh no, and then we're gonna have distrust coming in. Oh god. It's nothing, really. Seriously, it, it's nothing. Be honest with her, Luz. You're ill. I'm tired of standing around. I came here to Oh, dad's gonna cream this guy. Oh, well, it looks like the champion's belt goes to I already have one. <laughs> He's like, I don't need that. I already have one. Maybe we can sign you up for the next tryout. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. Standing up against Papa. Either of you. <gasps> this is the perfect chance to give him the serum. But it isn't ready. Hey! You're gonna mess this up, aren't you? If the blabber serum needs more heat to finish. Oh, he's gonna mess it up. Whoa. What are you gonna do? Float that whole thing in portal? I thought you would just need like a cup or something. <gasps> Are we gonna have their first like kind of altercation or disagreement? Wait, isn't that the tree that they sprouted together during Grom? The, f the petals are falling. Does it have something to do with the human realm? Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Be honest, Luz, come on. I don't, a long time ago and it's like, Totally not an issue anymore, but uh mm -hmm. Gravesfield Graveyard. Is this gonna be about her dad being dead? That <laughs> she has an event where her and her mom go to the graveyard. Today's the anniversary of my dad passing away. That's not an excuse for what I did. Like I said, yes, it, it happened a while ago, so I didn't want to bring it up. That's major. He brought us flowers on her birthday, so after Aww. he passed away, we started... I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but I'll help you pick some flowers and we can do something here. Aww. <laughs> what the heck happened? I, I added fire... Did it freaking turn him into something? Honey to the flower serum. You changed the recipe? Yeah, I was about to say, you know... It's different if he had put the fire bee honey into the fire, but the fact he put it into the drink, like that's gonna change the chemical equation. Oh, whoa. Oh, you're cooler looking now. Let's not mess with them, leave them. Oh, come on. Boo. He's protecting her, but. Well, if the heat from the fire bee honey caused the potion to Ice. mutate, then maybe something cold would reverse mm -hmm. it? Wait. She's got the ice. Are they gonna dump like an ice block into his mouth? Double abomination. <laughs> he goes there, she's like, uh uh uh. Yeah, Dad. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm gonna do what you couldn't do, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, mega abomination. Lights strong together. <laughs> oh. Oh, steam ice? Ice oh snow. Chill out. Elin. Alador. Alador. That's his name. Alador. You know, I should remember that because one of my favorite Disney movies was Dinosaur and the main character's name was Alador Al Aladon? You know what, before I get confused, I'm just gonna keep remember Alador. Were you always able to do that? Maybe. I've got my eyes on you, Blight. Ah, the tap! But some of us don't think this new world will be very inviting to magic kind. Mm -hmm. Wild or not. I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> well, the side effects aren't pretty, but I can sell this. Illusions, beast keeping. Sell this, Ida. Why would you want people to turn into monsters? Bad girl cousin. I want a t-shirt too. <laughs> Freaking M. That's always been your dream. Not no, anymore. That's always been mom's dream. And you just went along with it. Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't even know I was dating Luce. Edelin's kid? See? You don't talk. This reminds me of Lucifer from Hasbin. <laughs> Not being very aware of what their child is doing. Except Lucifer, I'm pretty sure, is depression. 
And also, a combination of maybe being kept away by Lilith, but uh, he's, Avalon's a little... Uh, Adelon is a bit different. More. I like your new hair color. It's abomination colored. Mm -hmm. Finally, someone gets it. Finally, someone gets it. Can you tell Mom that? I'll talk to her. It's a start. Dad bonding. Something that Luz will never be able to do. Don't make me cry with this either. And any good ones? She, oh, oh, she, she, she tried it, drew it from memory, the plant one. I can't believe I didn't try this first. My head's really on backwards today. She looks like really worn. She looks so sad, tired, Do you worn. Think they'll reach the human realm. Probably doesn't work that way, but it's a nice thought. That's pretty. Right? That's a pretty shot. What if it does reach her? Maybe. Okay, I wasn't sure if something was gonna happen with the flower, like it was gonna change or something. Aw, though. Wasn't able to do her traditional tradition with her mom, but she kind of started a new one with her Amity. All right then, let me uh, get into my thoughts. <laughs> All right, so. That was a sweet episode. That was that was it was a sweet touching episode because you have you have Amy's relationship with her dad and then you have um Luce's I mean relationship with her dad even though they don't really have they don't have one anymore. I it's more like the <sighs> That's sad. <laughs> well, I, I I was pretty certain that her dad was dead because I'm like for him I mean unless he like left or something like that. But I felt like with the way, with the way that, I mean, they could have been hiding his face. Because when they hid his face during the V episode, like, I'm like, he could have left. And it's just, um, I feel like that would have been more, like, possibly scratched out or cut out if he had left. And so that both Lucy and her mom were, like, upset at that. And so they, like, cut him out of the picture. But the fact that, the sh like, they purposely, like, put a gleam of, on the glass, like, to block the dad's face. I'm like, mm. They don't want us to see what he looks like, which is interesting. Um... So I'm like, he's probably going to be dead. Hmm. That was, that was a good episode, sweet. Um, and also, kind of like your our first uh, kind of Amity loose, uh, Lumity like fight, sort of fight, disagree, not disagreement, but yeah, f all, uh, not even altercation. It was just a fight, like kind of like a little fight that they had. Um, and I was like, oh, please don't get too deep into the whole I don't trust you now because you lied to me thing and everything but I like how it was like it's like why would you behave this way and then it comes out that's because Luce's dad said like that and for her Luce to say that that's not a justification like it's not but at the same time that's such a major thing like that's what like you're not able to celebrate your dad's death anniversary with your mom like that's major so it's, it is understandable poor thing and then she tries getting up and she's got jelly legs like I was, like, concerned. I'm, like, wait, is Luce, like, like, because I haven't lost anyone that close to me, like, in that way. Like, I've had best friends leave and stuff, but I've never had someone pass away. So I don't know if that's, like, a part of it is where, like, you're thinking, like, so, it almost like she was weak. So that's why I was confused. I was, like, wait, why is she, like, got jelly legs or, like, wobbly legs and stuff she can't get up? But I guess, like, if you're in such a distraught state, like, you just, like... I don't know. So uh, that I was kind of concerned for a moment that Luce was like sick or something was wrong with her. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, overall, plot was great for this episode. Got some Lumini and Lumini develop. Not some. We got quite a bit of Lumini and Lumini development. Um, we got we got Aladar. That was the name of the dinosaur. So at Adalon. I want to make sure I get this right. Adalon, right? Adalon. Alador. Alador. See, this is a problem. I need to stop thinking of dinosaur because I'm going to think of Alador, but it's... Uh, it's... Wait, no. Is it... <laughs> I can't with this! <laughs> yeah, it's Alador, so... Aladon. What's it? Hold on. Yeah, Aladar was the dinosaur from Dinosaur. Alador... 
<laughs> it's her dad. I need to stop thinking of so I'm gonna really mess up their name. So Alador, Alador, Alador is his name. Oh, but yeah, so yeah, yeah, Alador and Amity's relationship, uh, father-daughter relationship, like development there. Um, also, we get to see like a side to to Ed that I like how they were, like, I thought that they were perfect looking. So the fact that they revealed that they've been wearing concealment, like that, that's so like shitty of her mom that they, I'm guessing it's their, her, her choice, not them for sure, that she's given them concealment stones to hide what they actually look like in public. Like that's bad. Like, I really don't like Amity. I don't like their mom. Like, uh, yeah, I like dad's way better. I don't know what he saw in their in their mom. Um, yeah, plot was great. Characters were great. Um, animation was great. Music was was great. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that that's all my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full and edited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link in the description and pinned comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternight, and keep running bright. See ya.